Good evening and welcome to TR Physics and today I'm going to talk about potential dividers. Now a potential divider is a circuit with two or more resistors in it and what it's doing is it splits up the potential in it. If you just have one resistor all that resistor will get all the potential. But a potential divider is a system that has two or more resistors in the network that actually splits up the potential. And what I'm going to show you today is when you've got a variable, a resistor that varies, either because of light or heat or that, you're genuinely varying. And so what I've done here is I've put a, uh, an LDR here. So this is an LDR. And what I'm going to talk about is what happens when the potential across this changes. What happens to my measured voltage across this resistor? And then what's going to, I'm going to do this side and I'm going to have my measured voltage across here. So, just to recap, a thermistor or an LDR, when it starts to get brighter or when it starts to get hotter, the resistance of the, of the resistor will decrease. And what I have here is I have got a cell with 12 volts in it. I'm going to bring this back to Kirchhoff's laws. Remember, Kirchhoff's law is not in the specification, but it will really help you, especially with potential dividers. Kirchhoff's second law states that in one loop round, that the potential that came in must be the potential that comes out. So I know that together, the potential of these two must add up to 12. And I know to how to calculate the potential using Ohm's law, which is V equals I R. So let's say it is getting brighter. So let's, uh, let's have a position where the, this has a resistance and this has a resistance. That means that this has six volts. So at the start, so the start, we're gonna say A and B. A and B has six volts a piece. We're going to make this brighter. So it's going to be midday, it's going to get brighter. The resistance of this is going to decrease, which means the potential across it would go down. And let's say it goes down to two volts. This means the potential across this resistor A, because of Kirchhoff's law, must now be 10 volts. So my potential measured across this resistor would have gone up. Let's say if it's going dimmer, This potential here would increase. So let's say it increased to 8 volts, which means the potential across this one here would decrease to only 4 volts. So this LDR here, depending on the brightness, because of its resistance being affected, which means its potential is affected, means that the potential across here would also change. And this is an object, this is a circuit, that when it gets really bright, this bit here gets lots of, vol uh, lots of potential, lots of energy, which means that you could have all sorts of circuits. So if you wanted, say, something that had a fan that activated when it was really, really bright and sunny, you could put your fan circuit here because when it got really bright, this bit here gets lots of voltage. Now, this is a circuit that's set up a little bit differently. This is where my measured part is here. And exactly the same here, so we're going to call this A and B. So let's say they start A and B at 6 volts, and this is purely hypothetical values. Let's, when it's getting brighter, okay, and let's say this would go down to 2 volts, this goes up to 10 volts, so my measured voltage would decrease because it's over the thing that is changing. And go back to dimmer and do the same as before. 
let's say this went up to 8 volts. So this measured voltage would go up and this would go down to 4 volts. So this is a circuit when it gets really, really bright, this measured thing would get less potential. So this is something that you may want to work when it's dark, because when it is really dark, this gets more potential. So you might want it as a light switch. You might want it as a light. So when it starts getting dark outside, the light would turn on when it gets really dim. And the light would turn on because when it's really dim, this gets lots of voltage, which means this gets lots of voltage. So potential dividers are a really powerful way of using variable resistors to control different parts of circuits with different stimuli. You could have this as a thermistor, so when it gets hotter, the resistance, the voltage across it goes down. But when it gets colder, the resistance goes up. So you may want it as a heating system when it's cold, lots of potential, when it's uh, this one here, when lots of potentials across it, that the heating system is attached to this. Because when it is cold, this has lots of resistance, which means that your motor to your heating systems get lots of resistance. Okay. But if you wanted it to be the other way around, if you want it to be when it's too hot, and you want to stick it here, when it's too hot, this has low resistance, this has higher resistance. You can have a motor to a fridge, for example, here. So a potential divider is all about thinking about what happens when the stimuli changes. And is it, do you want it to be effective in positively? So when it goes up, do you want it to go up? Or when it gets colder, do you, etc. So you really want to choose where you locate objects. And a really important thing is to look at what happens. Talk, write this kind of thing out. What happens when it goes brighter? Well, that resistance would go down, which means that voltage would go down, which means that one goes up and you go, okay, in this case, I want it when it is bright for my fan to turn on, so I'm going to put it on A. Or you can go, I want it to when it gets dark for the light to turn on. Oh, voltage goes up here, I'm going to put it on B. And that is potential dividers.